Normally, when we are mathematically representing a quantum state of a quantum computer, instead of using matrices, we use a specific notation called Dirac notation. To see how this works, let's convert an arbitrary qubit state, alpha beta, into Dirac notation. All we need to do is turn the matrix into the sum of two matrices, and then factor out the alpha and the beta. Now, if you look at the column vectors, they are the 0 and 1 states, as we saw in the previous lesson. This gives us a linear combination of the 0 and 1 states. Those brackets around the 0, 1 and psi are called kets. All they tell us is that 0, 1 and psi are quantum states. Pause the video and convert this qubit state from matrix to Dirac notation. This notation might seem weird at first, but it is the conventional way of writing a quantum computing state, since when we start adding more qubits, using matrices to represent them becomes unmanageable, as we start to get very large matrices.